Hello, today we'll be looking at the basic principles of course design in Canvas Learning Management System. We will use the course evaluation checklist created by the Canvas community to guide how we create a Canvas course. For this video, we will be focusing on the foundational criteria in the areas of course information, course content, assessment of student learning, and accessibility. Even though we are focusing on the foundational criteria, I encourage you to include as many of the criteria in each area that you are comfortable with and are appropriate to your learners. Let's take a quick look at each area of the checklist. Our first area on the checklist is course information. Notice that each criteria is also aligned to our Universal Design for Learning or UDL principles. Course information includes basic things such as a homepage, course navigation, your learning information, class expectations, contact information is all readily visible. Our next criteria is looking at course content. So making sure that copyright law is followed, all of your links, files, videos, and external URLs are active and working. Also in consideration with course content are our different interactions based on student to student, student to teacher, student to content, um, the organization of content into um, modules, um, the use of welcome pages and overview pages and conclusion pages, naming conventions, uh, text headers, um, module completion requirements or prerequisites, external tools that you might use that are relevant, um, and then as we get more advanced into mastery paths. Third, assessment of student learning. So making sure that detailed instructions are clearly written so that way students understand uh, what they're supposed to do and that a variety of assessments are used, whether that means discussion, individual or group assignments and quizzes um, to increase learner engagement and promote active learning. Also thinking about a range of low stakes or high stakes assessments, uh, different um, assessments that include options for you as the instructor to use SpeedGrader uh, to provide that quick, high quality feedback, um, providing sample assignments and the use of rubrics and outcomes. Finally, we're gonna look at course accessibility. Um, so of course, we're gonna make sure that we use the um, accessibility checker to identify and correct accessibility issues within our course. Um, also be looking at tools uh, to make sure that color images, styles, and hyperlinks um, in audio uh, materials all include best practices for accessibility. Let's take a look at our course design template that builds on these four areas of course design. Here's an example of a Canvas course design template um, that I use. So basically I start with my um, course or my module um, title. Uh, so here I've given the standard and then I've asked um, a title that's kind of catchy. Uh, what does a pandemic have to do with it? Um, I've got my learning outcomes from the modules. So that helps me kind of frame out um, what I'm going to build in Canvas. And then for each element in my module, whether it's a content page or um, a discussion board or a quiz, I kind of sketch out each one of those things, um, the information about it, so what it is. Um, I'm going to put a little bit about the content. So, um, you know, a content page uh, with a table to overview the module, or is it an embedded external tool? Um, I'm going to look at the assessment of student learning. So what are points that I need to make sure when I'm building in Canvas that I need to make sure I have directions um, on, you know, what we're going to do in the module, directions on how to practice Quizlet um, or whatever external tool I'm using, um, directions on the page for things that have uh, multiple um, text and videos. And then, you know, for my discussion board, you know, I want to make sure I'm using a provocative prompt. Um, I've got a rubric for my post and clear instructions that'll all help um, assess student learning and guide their um, engagement. And then lastly, my notes on accessibility. So how am I going to make sure that this page is accessible, right? So if I have a table, I want to make sure I use the accessibility checker. Um, if I'm going, if I have a lot of colors on the page, I'm going to um, check them for the contrast ratios. Um, if I have um, 
Quizlet page, you know, I'm going to make sure that I also give a link to the Quizlet page. So depending on a device that the learner is using, um, if for some reason the embedded content doesn't work, I want them to have a link to be able to try to open up um, in a different browser tab and see if they can access the content that way. Um, if I have a video, I'm going to make sure that there's captions or a transcript available for them. Um, and then, you know, just making sure I use that accessibility checker on every page um, to highlight any things that I can uh, correct and fix before my students see the page. Um, so I'll provide a blank copy of this Canvas course design template. Um, if you want to use it, feel free to modify it um, for your needs. But this is just something that I use that helps me before I start sketching out on Canvas and before I start building. So in the next video, we're actually going to go through and build out um, this module together.